Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Aptive Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to restore a mailbox database from existing backup in Exchange 2019. Sometimes mailbox database can get corrupted for some reasons and that time you need to recover your mailbox database. There are different ways to recover mailbox database. We can recover the entire volume where database is stored or we can create recovery mailbox database to recover specific mailbox or specific mailbox items. In this example, I am using single exchange 2019 mailbox server without database availability group. The server has mailbox database named db01 with the database file on a separate drive and the transaction logs are on a other drive. In the last video, we have seen the steps to backup mailbox database using a Windows Server backup feature. In that video, we have backup only one mailbox database named db01 instead of all three mailbox databases. As when we use Windows Server backup feature to restore the database, all the databases in the backup set will be restored. And we don't want to restore all the mailbox database. During the restoration process, we cannot pick and choose a specific mailbox database which we want to recover. And that was the only reason why I have selected only one mailbox database to backup. We want to send a test mail to user before restoring the backup. We want to prove that restoring backup will not cause us to lose any new mail items they arrived since the time of backup. We also want to prove that transaction logs allows the restored mailbox database to update to the point in time of the failure with no data loss. So let's open Google Chrome. Type URL https colon double slash mail dot msftwebcast.com slash uva and press enter key to access the outlook on the web. We will use the credential of our user Bharat Sama to send a test message. Click on new. Let's send it to Anand Panchal. Okay, let's click on send to send the message which you want to send to our user Anand Panchal. Okay, the message has been sent successfully. Let's sign out from the Outlook on the web. And let's close a Google Chrome as well. Let's open Exchange Management Shell as you want to dismount the mailbox database. Let's open File Explorer first. And the mailbox database db01 is stored on our e drive. Here we can see db01.adb. This is the adb file of our mailbox database name at db01. Okay, I'm going to dismount the mailbox database. So our same delete is going to be dismount hyphen database db01. Let's press enter key. Are you sure? Press Y and press Enter key. Perfect. The mailbox database has been successfully dismounted. Let me again remind you that uh, EDB file of that DB01 mailbox database is stored on an eDrive and the associated log files of that mailbox database is stored on an app drive. Let's double click on an eDrive. Let's double click on DB01 folder and here I'm going to select a mailbox database EDB file db01, let's right click on it and select a delete. Okay. For the purpose of this demo, I have deleted the adb file associated with mailbox database. In production environment, definitely you are not going to delete the adb file, but to simulate that failure of mailbox database, I have deleted the adb file. Now we have only transaction logs and the last backup of db01. The last full backup which we have performed using a Windows Server backup feature is stored in a backup drive. Let me show you that as well. We have stored the backup on an I drive and here we have a backup of our mailbox database db01. Fine. Okay, so here we don't have the edb file associated with our mailbox database db01. Now let's start the recovery process. Already I have opened a Windows Server Backup Console. Let me close it and uh, let's go to the Server Manager Console. Click on Tools and click on Windows Server Backup to open the console. Here we can see the last backup was uh, successful. 
To recover, we need to click on this recover link. It will start a new wizard for us. Here, it is asking us that where is the backup stored that you want to use for the recovery. We have stored on a local server and that's why I'm going to select the first radio button. If you have stored the backup on a share folder, that time you need to select the second radio button. So select this server and click next. On the select backup date page, we can see the details of the backup. The date, time, location status and recoverable items. Now suppose if you have multiple set of a backup of your mailbox database, then you need to click on this drop down button and select the latest version or select the version of backup set which you want to restore. We have only one set and that is the our oldest and newest one. We can also click on recoverable items link to view the details of recoverable items. Now let's click on it. Here we can see two volumes included in backup set and also Exchange application which represent the mailbox database hosted on our local server ex19-mbx01. Let's click on close. In our case, entire backup set is going to be restored, not just the mailbox database. Let's click on next to continue. On the select recovery type page, I'm going to select application. We can also select volumes which will recover the draw. But with applications, we have option of a rule forward. Let's click on next. Select the exchange application and that is selected by default because we have only one application. Keep in mind that uh, there is one more option for controlling the rule forward behavior. And here we can see brief over information about that option as well. In this example, we want to roll forward the transaction logs and bring the database completely up to date. Remember, we have transaction logs in our F drive and we are recovering E drive. So after the failure of E drive, new emails are stuck in the transaction logs on our F drive. So to let these emails go to the mailboxes, we need to roll forward the application database. So in short, on this console, we don't have to do anything. You just need to select the checkbox if you want to prevent the roll forward from occurring. So simply in our case, we need to click on the next button. And because we are recovering a completely failed database, we want to simply restore to the original location. Now click on next. On confirmation page, review your selection. Click on recover and the recovery process will begin. This will take some time to finish based on the size of your mailbox database. Okay, as we can see, the recovery process is completed successfully. The labs will close to close this console. Okay, here we can confirm that application recovery is completed successfully. Fine. Now, let's check the status of the EDV file associated of a mailbox database named DB01. And for that, again, I'm going to click on File Explorer. And let's right click here. And click on Refresh. And here we can see the EDV file which we have deleted earlier. So the adb file is back in the folder and uh, let's go to the log folders location. Let's double click on our app drive and double click on db01 and here we can see the transaction logs are also restored successfully. With adb file the transaction logs are also restored successfully. Now we have total 1505 items in this folder. That means all the log files which got truncated in the last backup have been restored as a part of the recovery of the mailbox database. These log files are again truncated in the next successful backup. So after seeing this, we can say our mailbox database is restored successfully. Now let's mount the mailbox database. And for that, we need to type the same delete mount hyphen database db01. Let's press enter key. Okay, the mailbox database has been successfully mounted. And now let's check the status of the mail which we have sent before starting the recovery process. Let's click on Google Chrome. Type URL https colon double slash mail dot msftwebcast.com slash ova and press enter key to access Outlook on the web. We'll use the account of our user Anand Panchal to sign in. Let's click on sign in. And here we can see the test message which we have sent 
after the backup is still able to recover by recommitting the logs into the restored database last click on it and this is the message which we have sent after the backup and before the restoration process so now our database is up to date or without any data loss and that's all for this video in this video we have seen the steps to restore a mailbox database in exchange server 2019 using a windows server backup feature thank you all for watching this video have a nice day